Good evening. This is the Elliott Wave update for the NASDAQ 100 for Tuesday, January the 18th, 2022. The NASDAQ continued to follow through on current analysis as it continues to progress through a <clears throat> minute third wave down. That minute third wave is subdivided. And so let's just take a quick update. And here's where the beginning of wave three, minute wave three began. And thus far we have the uh, wave one of minute three, wave two of minute three, and then wave three of minute wave three is also subdivided. And don't know if it's actually been completed, if we've got one, two, and they got one, two, three, four, five, three, four, Maybe we still need one slight new low. Maybe it gets all the way down to uh, 15,077, 70 or 78, uh, but it should come below 15,170. I think I'd like to see it below 15,152, which is the current low for wave one. That's gonna give me a lot of support that wave three is progressing nicely uh, because of course it's gonna be expected to break wave one. And in all honesty, we're looking for it to come, this third wave, my new three, to come down to 14,501 or 500 before it does a little bit of a rally and then comes back down to complete the uh, entire my new three. Then we get an additional rally and then there's a my new four and then we get a my new fifth wave down. And that one, we are looking for it to likely come into the 50% level, which is 13,683, or even a little bit lower, 13,006, uh, 13,570. So that would be the zone, and actually that zone goes all the way down to 13,438. But a pretty big zone for this larger third wave to complete, um, and or actually the, the minute three, and then again, it would be, the minute four and the minute five. So sorry that we're looking for this whole C wave. Now remember, the larger degree is an intermediate wave four correction that actually started off of the all-time high for the NASDAQ at 16,768. And that what we're looking for is this fourth wave that we've done wave A and we've done wave B and that we have demonstrated. And I'll show you again right there, that's where the wave B completed. And so we're in the C wave down of which we've done one, two, we're in the third. And then once that's complete, we have the fourth and then the fifth. So for tomorrow, I am continuing to look for continuation to the downside. Right now though, it does appear that we will likely get a small correction, a small bounce out. Once we do get this in, so again, I, I would be great to see it drop below 15,152 to give us a little bit more support that this third wave is actually progressing along nicely. And then we get <clears throat> this internal sub-minute third wave complete. We get a wave four and then a wave five down. That's the one I'm hoping brings us into this additional, additional zone it's quite a bit lower, 44.10. That's where I'm looking for my new three to complete. Then we get a rally and then an additional drop. That's what it looks like. If we can get ourselves down here in this minute third below 15,000, also good. Then we get a little bit of rally and then we get a fifth wave drop and that'll bring us down into these, this uh, lower zone. That also works. So we have the potential, the potential for it to come all the way down to below 14,000 does exist. But we also have some fairly strong support, Fibonacci support, and then also Elliott support right here between 14,500 and 14,410. Those support zones may hold it and actually complete that uh, intermediate wave four. Tomorrow, a little bit additional downside, we get a bounce and then a continuation. 
Bounces should now be limited and held by the eight and the 20 moving average on the hourly basis. We've now got them all lined up. Here's the 200, here's the 50, here's the 20, here's the eight, and here's the four. I'll blow this up just a little bit so we can see. Do me a favor. Let's see if I can get this to go very nicely all the way over. Um, my computers are getting a little bit old. I do work them and they do stay on and they do all this good work and then they don't do what I want them to do. There we go. So you can see there's the 200, there's the 50, the 20, the eight, the four, all lined up, all pointing down. Not as sharply as I would like to see, but still sharp enough that I am expecting that when we get down here, right below the, <clears throat> the this level, at 15,152, that's ultimate for me for continued confirmation. We get a bounce and a very small fourth wave, and then we get an additional fifth wave down. That's the one I'm expecting, hopefully bring us into here, and that could complete the intermediate fourth wave. Again, we're balancing this against uh, the other markets having likely completed, particularly the S&P having completed the, it's a uh, total fifth wave rally. And so we have been looking for that still to happen here in the NASDAQ. So if I have to balance that against what really could, the reality of what could happen, it's all gonna depend, I think, on what the earnings are going to show us as they continue to roll out uh, the balance of this week, next week, and into that first week of February. So that's when we have a lot of the Titans towards the end of next week. And then again, uh, Apple and Amazon, and I thought Facebook, but Facebook seemed to come out today and they didn't like them, but they're having their conference call on the 2nd of February. Don't quite understand how that all works, but that's what I'm seeing on the charts and also on Pinterest. So again, a little bit more downside. I'd like to see, it get, I, I do believe it's gonna get below uh, 15,000 and I think it's gonna to get towards a, uh, 14,500 to 14,400 before all is said and done and we get that larger advance starting. So continue to trade smart, continue to trade using the moving averages. Add to it, we have the Fibonacci support and also the Elliott count, which supports everything so far that has been occurring. Now, again, I use, just to give a quick, a little bit of an update, I use a one minute, a two minute, and a five minute for my trading during the trading day. So here, your moving averages are gonna come much more into play on, particularly on the five minute, you can see here, they're all pointing pretty sharply down. So we need to break below uh, 50,170, that's the low from uh, the regular session, came just before the close, and then also get it down below 15,152. Then we get a bounce. We're looking for that bounce to hold the 20. Right now that 20 is at 15,217. If we get this drop, it's likely gonna drop down to about 15,200 uh, or just below. And then any rallies should be held by that. Uh, if the market turns and starts to go higher from here, it needs to do it quickly. It needs to break above the 20, the 50, and the 200 pretty quick to really plant a bullish picture into this market. Otherwise, the sellers remain in control. The volatility has increased, so we're getting decent moves going in both directions. And again, because the market gets thin, if, if a buyer steps in once a large seller is done, it's like there's a little bit of a vacuum. So the market just rallies very quickly because somebody's got a decent amount to buy and they're just going to go do it. And the orders are at the market. So they just come in, wham, bam, and then they're done. So trade smart, use the moving averages, use the Elliott and use the Fibonacci to guide your trades and to produce great profits. Our next update will be on Wednesday the 19th.